This is an NBC Connecticut Kids Connection digital exclusive. Proudly brought to you by ACES. Have you ever wondered what it's like to be on stage in the spotlight? Every day, musicians, actors, singers, and dancers wake up and prepare to perform in front of millions of people around the world. But how and where did theater start? To discover the origins of theater, we have to travel back to ancient Greece and the theater of Dionysus. Built on the side of a hill, performers would stand on the orchestra, a semicircular platform where they would sing, dance, and act. Throughout the centuries, theater continued to inspire and entertain people. In the Roman era, plays became more inclusive as women took center stage to perform. During the medieval period, theater was so highly regarded that guilds were formed for the sole purpose of entertaining from the stage. The Middle Ages were also responsible for introducing the pageant wagon, which is the first known mobile stage. This allowed performers to travel around the world and perform in hundreds of small towns. Theater continued to evolve, and while many of the plays and musicals we enjoy today revolve around modern topics, they are all inspired by thousands of years of history that came before. Now you may be wondering, what's it like to be on stage? That's a great question. It's electrifying. You know, it's not just singing and, and, and acting and dancing. It's telling a story and, and, you know, and certain things are telling the story of, of history and telling somebody else's truth where that they might not have been able to tell it before. This is Jared Brown, a theater teacher at the ACES Wintergreen Magnet School. Every day he teaches his students about being on stage and the important skills that they can use as performers to entertain an audience. We wake up every day and it's an opportunity to be our best self in our show and we are we are the leading player of our own life being on stage isn't about winning or losing it's about expressing yourself and being comfortable pretending you're someone or something else this is an important lesson that goes beyond the stage performing helps build confidence creativity and can create lifelong passions i i tell the kids all the time dare to be different and if different is who you are it's okay to be you. Being on stage as a kid may be all fun and games, but there are plenty of people that have made it their living. Just a few hours away in Midtown Manhattan is the epicenter of all things theater, Broadway. Every year, thousands of performances occur across dozens of historic theaters for millions of fans. Incredible shows like Wicked, Dear Evan Hansen, and Hamilton cover topics like love, history, and growing up, all things that we can relate to. I never would have gotten through Cheshire High School had I not had a theater program. Ingrid Ellinger Doviak is one of the many incredible people that work at the ACES Wintergreen Magnet School. Creativity is important because that helps you learn who you are, and it also helps you figure out who you can be to others. If you're interested in trying theater for the very first time, that's great. Most schools have theater programs that give you the chance to be on stage or work backstage to help a production come to life. There are also summer camps and theater groups all around Connecticut that are looking for young singers, actors, and dancers to join. But you have to come prepared. Before you get to be on stage, you may need to audition or perform in front of just a few people so they can learn a bit about you. But don't worry, auditioning isn't so scary. Just ask our friend Jared. So I think the word audition is the most scariest part of the entire process. Changing the word from audition to performance to me, and I know the students that utilize that approach, has been really good on them because then it just it breaks that barrier down. We hope this short introduction to theater has given you the courage to go out and perform on stage. If you'd like to learn more about theater opportunities right here in Connecticut, go to NBCConnecticut.com and search Kids Connection. Hola kids, I'm Grace Gomez from Telemundo, Connecticut, and I'm going to teach you some Spanish words right here on Kids Connection. The Spanish word for today is rojo, which means red. Now, you're ready to say it with me? Rojo. That is so good. Until next time, ciao. Goodbye. Here at Kids Connection, we love to see your pictures and videos. Take a look at our friend Colton beating the heat. And check this out. Our friend Druthy from Ellington is having fun with science and making homemade ice cream. And all that coolness goes into the smaller bag, which makes it ice cream. If you want to learn how to make ice cream, don't forget to check out last week's Kids Connection video on NBCConnecticut.com or the NBC Connecticut YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this NBC Connecticut Kids Connection digital exclusive. Proudly brought to you by ACES.